Alright, um, hi everybody. So today I am going to show you my top, well I was going to say top 19 of 2019, but odds are um, it's probably more than 19, not by much, but my top comics of 2019. Um, I did this last year and I'm going to do it this year and I'm just going to make this, you know, a consistent thing. Um, I found some goodies this year. Um, I was able to scratch off a lot of comics off my wish list and then I added a lot more onto my wish list. So there's that. I done entered down a couple of rabbit holes. So there's that. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, without rambling too much, I'm going to just jump right into it. So the first comic that I have, oh, and um, by the way, these are comics that I bought this year, not necessarily that they came out this year, so just disclaimer. Um, anyway, let's start. Uh, I have Catwoman number, not Catwoman, well it's a Catwoman cover, it's a Batman comic with a Catwoman cover and she's so pretty. Um, this was one of the ones on my wish list that I was able to get knocked out, so that was nice. Um, I still have like a million of those that I need to collect, so that is a work in progress. Um, I have this Fantastic Four comic that I got Black Friday, and the reason why I like this one so much is because the cover... It, it does it does all of this it's got a whole lot going on right now it's got all this going on and I live for the little novelty things that comics do like that's one of my favorite things a lot of people don't like it they're like oh it's a gimmick it's cheesy and yeah 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 it's like yeah well I like it so more for me <laughs> um so I have storm number one which is really nice. And now I have, I'm guessing the whole set because I think there's only four of these and I have four of them, so yeah. Put that over there. And then I have S Supergirl, which, you know, if, I don't know, you've ever seen a comic before, it's an homage to OG Superman. And I thought that was pretty neat, so I had to snatch it up. And then, this is going to be a two-for-one deal. These two count as one entry, okay? So, <laughs> so, we've got Thor, we got Carnage Thor, and we got Carnage Loki. You know, they come as a pair. I didn't buy them as a pair, but they come as a pair. So, boom and boom. Yes. So, I got those. Um... And then Detective Comics number 1000. Now, uh, there's a bunch of different variant covers for this one that I really want. But um, the way my bank account is set up, it's on the list, okay? It's going to be like Batman 50. Like, there's a million of them, and I'm just going to pick them off one by one slowly but surely. So um, this is the one that I can get my hands on, so I got it. Um, yeah, because the one with, would it be called the Gotham City Sirens with the Catwoman, Harley Quinn, and Ivy? I think, yeah, I want, I want that one. That's the main one. It looks so nice. Um, and then we have another Batman 50 variant with the Joker at his time, living his best life. Put that over there. And then we have Batman Who Laughs. I like, I like this color. Too. I'm very much a cover girl. That's that's my whole thing is covers. So that one, and then got also this one, which I don't know. It reminds me. Hold on. It, I mean, they they look like. Hold on. Can I get this right? Let's get this right. They look like the same Joker to me. Like I could be. I could be wrong. But the way this art is set up, I swear on my life, they're the same Joker. Like the same, like, like the same person, you know, drew these pictures. But I don't think that's what happened. But that's the aesthetic that's going on right now. 
Um, also this one, it's not a comic. It is a style guide. I don't know, can we show that? Can you see that? I hope so. Um, yeah, and it's got contacts of like all the different Warner Brothers slash DC people on there. But um, it's, it's an official like art guide to drawing Batman and such. It is still in the plastic. It is going to stay in the plastic. So it's not comic exactly, but it's comic related and it counts. Um, I also got Batman number 700. And um, one of my things, one of my comic book goals is to get number 700 of everybody that I like, but like there isn't a 700 of everybody that I like, so I gotta, you know, make do. But of course, there's a 700 of Batman, so naturally I had to have it. And I got one, so yeah. That over there. And then we've got Thor number eight. Um, now, I didn't, I mean, I got this one because I'm, I'm, I'm collecting all the covers that are homages to that one Spider-Man because it's everywhere. Oh my goodness. Like, it's almost being done to death. Like, you've seen it so many times. But now I just want to get all the ones that look like it. So that's my current goal in life. That over there. And I've got this one. Oh, marbles. Looks nice. And real talk, I got this because I saw that everyone else had this and I wanted one too. So that's why I have it. Sometimes it'd be like that. Sometimes it'd just be like that. Um, and then I have this nifty little Spider-Man that you have to read this way. You pretty much have to read it like a, uh, like a calendar basically because it's the special sideways issue can we can we focus that in it's not it's there it is there yeah see special sideways <laughs> yeah but I thought that was pretty cool too like I said novelty novelty is nice um and then we've got it's Justice League America one and I bought it simply because you know crack -a -laka, because that's where I live I guess you could say that's where I'm from. I was born in Jersey City. I lived in New Jersey. But let's be honest, I done planted my feet in North Carolina, so. North Carolina, come on, raise up. <laughs> and I got a little um, She-Hulk, which is nice. Um, I really wanted to get my hands on a She-Hulk because I feel like I don't have enough of them and she looks like somebody that I can hang with so I need more She-Hulk in my life. Um, and then this cover, I feel like this particular cover, I went all around Charlotte looking for one that didn't cost an arm and a leg and of course I didn't find it but then I went to a comic convention like two weeks ago and found it for like a dollar because I'm not paying uh, it's not a cover price it's not a cover price comic let's be real um but yeah it's Doctor Strange and my man so naturally I had to have it so I've got this one I got another one and then I have a holographic one too it's pretty cool and I think it's no it's not like this it's, it looks different but um yeah that over there and then we've got the scroll kill crew and it's Thor and he's an ox I believe and I thought that was pretty nifty so put that on the pile and then this one <laughs> this one though yeah this is my man's okay I'm pretty sure all of you know by now and if you don't know now you know this is my man's, okay? They didn't have to draw him like this, but they did. They did that for us, and I'm so happy about it. It's my favorite one. And he just he looks so nice. And yes, it makes me very happy. Um, 
And speaking of Loki, this one has different energy, okay? And honestly, I got it because I had this little goal of just having all the number ones. So I now I have all of the number ones. Um, and this one was the most expensive number one. But um, I have it because Loki is life, okay? Okay. And then I got this nice little Harley Quinn 25th anniversary type thing. And I really, I really like the art for this one. Like, I don't always do Harley Quinn, but if the art's really nice, then I fucks with her. But yeah, she's not particularly on my favorites list, for sure. Um, and then we've got Deceased in Gotham, which, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street is my shit, so yes, had to. And there's another one, I forgot what it's called. But there was like another comic that did give or take the same type of thing. It was like a Nightmare on Elm Street type of thing too and I wanted it but it was sold out. And It's one of those where you probably got to find it on eBay now because no one's going to have it. Um, and then this one, I forgot who got this one for me. You know who you are. Thanks. Um, but yeah, I had put on my wish list, my, my Instagram wish list that I wanted. The Daffy Duck and Joker and someone was like well I can hook you up sis and I was like say word so here we are <laughs> so yeah now I got it um I actually read this one and it was all right like the story was fine it's just they wrote in Daffy Duck's lisp and I found it extremely frustrating like you don't have to write it in like, we know. We know he talks a particular way, just like Sylvester, just like basically all the Looney Tunes have some type of speech impediment for some reason, actually. But, um, we, 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 we know. We know. We know that. You don't have to write that in. We know. We get it. We get it. Like, just write regular, please. I'm not trying to, you know, lose brain cells trying to read, like... Uh, I barely read as it is. Like, don't, don't make it worse. <laughs> like, don't make it harder for me. Jeez. Anyway, anyway, moving on, moving on. Um, I guess this is definitely like the 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 super top shelf, the creme de la creme for 2019. Um, I went to Heroes Con and had Clayton Crane sign it in a nice little. Uh, rainbow sig over there and it's very nice and I keep it in this little plastic uh, comic thing cover, cover holder protective thing. that's what it is um yeah so that's why I got that it's pretty nice very nice and yeah so those are all of my you know best covers 2k19 um some of them top shelf some of them not so much uh next year i hope to get some of my comic books graded because i have not had any graded like that was my goal for this year was to get some comics graded and look what happened they're still you know hanging out in a box somewhere so Hopefully in 2020 I can make more of an effort, um, but yeah. So I don't know. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment. What you like? What you didn't like? All that other fun stuff. You know. You know the drill. So I'll see you in my next video, whenever that is, because I am terrible at making videos. <laughs> so I will see y'all later. Ciao.